Hey guys, so um, okay, so this is basically episode one of ARC. Okay, well, it's blinding anyway. Um, so let me just talk quickly about the um, how this ARC series is going to work. This isn't going to be me like starting up from the beach or anything. Um, I didn't spawn anything in, if that's what you think I mean. Um, but I already like worked on everything. I already built the base and everything before I st decided to uh, actually just start recording videos for fun. Um, okay, hold on, there's a buddy here. So yeah, I know like a lot of people want actually want to see those stuff, and I still am going to show where all the artifacts are and all the um, loot crates, like locations and stuff. Um, yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh, I sound so nervous. Anyway, so here's the base. Yeah, I know things can fall off in there. Um, it's been a little bit of a problem, but not too much. Um, okay, yeah, whoa. Anyway, so th here's the base. Um, obviously, here's our Rex army. Here's the parents of the Rex army. I'll just quickly land to show you. Um, each Rex is very very leveled um, it's fully imprinted uh, not the best saddles I won't lie but they're definitely way better than primitive uh, 28 mutations here and 11 mutations what's that that's 39 mutations right yeah that is so 39 mutations on average it sometimes depends on which wrecks you look at uh, sorry guys like most of this episode is just gonna be me rambling on here uh, next episode, I'm actually planning to actually do something. Um, this Uteranus is just temporary, okay? D it's definitely no long-term, long-term there one. And then we still gotta do a lot of things, you know, like data and stuff. So, um, there is this smaller breeding pen at the back. Here's all our wyverns and other stuff. Here's our Giga. Um and then, whoa, sorry, we have gotchas lined up all the way down there and then you might be asking, hey, so what are these rexes for? well, um, they're basically spares, I'm going to start putting them in the cryopod over there one by one, so um, I got stuck on that rex's toe <laughs> um, so we've already gotten three artifacts, I will be doing each of them though Though this one, uh, artifact the strong artifact of the brute is pretty easy to get. Um, I will show how to get the immune, and it's a lot easier than what most people most people say it is. Um, I don't know if that's just me. I will actually be like showing the weight towards the caves, like not just the coordinates. So hopefully that'll be helpful. Um, yeah. So here's all our. Um, gotchas. No element gotcha though. Um, but anyway, so enough rambling on. I'm going to try to get a video done today. Alright, guys, so the. Um, so just in today's episode, we are going to be going for the artifact of the immune. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, you know what? I, uh, okay. Whatever, I should have brought my order. Okay, I just forgot as soon as I got to. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, that sucks. Um, yeah, but in any case, so for the artifact of the immune, people go to over to the carnivorous cave. This is what people call it. It's over uh, that way. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could see. It's over that mountainy area. Um, for me, it is a lot easier if you go this way. So right under the. Um, the Ragnarok Castle in the swamp area, okay? Um, let me just get up my coordinates. Yep, okay, that doesn't really help. Okay, that, uh, there's the coordinates. Okay, uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna be showing the uh, entire way in for anyone who wants to get the artifact. Okay, there we were just loading in the cave. Okay, this is very slow. This is surprisingly slow. So, uh... 
<laughs> yeah, sorry guys. And that's going to be a little bit weird to watch. Okay, here we go. Uh, so. uh, you have to be very careful of Megalania in this cave, okay? I... Whoop, there's one. There's one. Right there. What level are you, buddy? Oh, you... You're a max level. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, the max level on the server is uh, 210, so it's difficulty 7. Oh, we do need some good megalosauruses. Ugh, okay, that sucks a lot. Um, luckily it's daytime. Now, if I remember correctly... I hope I remember correctly. <laughs> uh, you go down here. You don't have to go through the water, though. Hold on, is this? Okay, sorry, just making sure. Um, you could have also just went around. I guess that's actually faster. Um, but of course, it would not be my YouTube video if I didn't do stupid things. Um, hold on. Wait, what? This out, of, out of the video. <laughs> uh, it was over. Yeah, no, it was this way. <sighs> oh, whatever. I can just run past. Um, okay, yeah. So it's here. Yeah, you need to look for the these like daylight sections here. If if you see um, obsidian in the water, uh, you know you're close. So there were two waves. Hold on. Out. Just properly zoom out here. Okay, so there's that way, and there's that way, and then there's that way. So we just came from that place with the rock, and I'm pretty sure it's this way. I could be very wrong about this, guys. <laughs> I think I'm wrong about this. Hold on. Oh no, that's right, okay. As you can see, guys, it's very surprisingly easy to acquire. It's easier from this way, of the, um, of the cave than the carnivorous cave. Although the purple, the purple one is probably easier from the other one. So anyway, uh, so, as soon as you see uh, this obsidian, in the water one. Okay, so that one has a rock in the middle over there. Um, so if you come down here, it's just down there where you see a little bit of water. And now to get out of here. Wait, did I get through? Wait. Yep. Okay, hold on. Please don't tell me I. No, I don't have to. There we go. And then. Easy peasy. Like here's the gate we ran through. There's that level 28 Megalosaurus. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I, I built that's my gate actually. Um, let me just show you while we're here. Um, I built like excuse me. You're that exact same 210, aren't you? Do I want to tame a Megalania? It would make a nice video. Anyway, so, um. <gasps> what? How's an. Wait, hold on. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um. That was my cop. What? Do you have a saddle on you? Okay, yeah, this isn't my RG. This is by one of my tribe mates' RGs. How are you alive? Dude! Hold on. So I built like this little area here. Do you, it, was, it was supposed to be like a PvP secret base in the cave, but it never came to be. Um, this is a PvE server, but with PvP settings, although it's free for anyone to join. I know it's kind of dangerous, so I am going to put it to PvE pretty soon again. 
But yeah, so if your dino is hurt and you just need to escape from the the dinos in the cave, you can just go in there and force feed your dino because uh, you'll be mainly protected. Anyway, so you run out here. And, uh, yeah, then you can just follow the tunnel. I'm just gonna, like, run out. So, on the way in, so that we're in the tunnel where uh, we ran on our way in now. Let me just get out of here, so just in case a few people get lost, because I also got a little bit lost in there for a second. Okay, we're deloading the cave and loading the entire island. And there we are. And there we go. Right. Nice, okay. And now it's on our way back to base. I guess we are back at base. And there we go. Okay, so uh, we've got a lot of artifacts of the boots. It's really easy to pick up. Um, I'll show you guys in a later episode. It's it's very easy for those of you who don't know. Um, as well as the artifact of the strong. Uh, artifact of the strong is actually quite nearby. Actually, you know what? Let me just show you guys that right now. It's just for those of you who don't know. <coughs> Alright, guys. So we are here. Um, Okay, so here's this little temple thing with the monkeys. Uh, Megapathy. Mail. I can't talk. Megapathicus. Um, statue thingies. Okay. Coordinates. Uh, right here. Okay. So all you need to do is. Go here. Destroy a rock. Hey. Okay, so that's, that's why. Don't need this. Thanks. Okay. And voila, there it is. And it immediately respawns back. Um, I tried it out with the the otter. I'm pretty sure most of you know this, but the otter is the only creature that can carry more than one of the same type of artifact. Or an artifact at all, okay? It's um Hopefully the devs don't remove that from the game. Uh, but other than that, uh, yeah. So then it immediately respawns back. But then the second time you take it, then it doesn't respawn as fast. Yep. And the kill. Then you have to like wait for the next respawn. And hum, there you have it. Alright guys, so today's episode was just more of a introduction. Um, it wasn't supposed to be like actual gameplay or something. Um, just did like two artifact runs, which was barely anything. Um, next episode, I'm going to probably do obviously something a little bit bigger than this, because this was like nothing. <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe. Uh, yeah, that's about it, I guess. The server is free to join. Uh, for those of you who are interested, uh, just comment down below. And then, uh, in the next episode, I'll probably say which server it was, or is, and then you guys can join. 